your future on Shark Tank India. So, how do you envision the future of entrepreneurship in India with shows like Shark Tank? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very excited to launch and present to you the very first edition of Next Innovate Talks. I'm also very delighted to have a social innovator who also wanted to bring a change in the society by using uh, technology to solve the water sanitation and manual scavenging uh, problems in India. So, Ola, Zomato, uh, Snapdeal, iStem, Unifor. What do all of these companies have in common? All of these innovative startups have been started by ITNs or um, IT graduates. I believe all the education systems in schools and colleges should thrive to develop an ecosystem like the IITs and IIMs. This is our goal in Next Innovate, which is why I'm so happy to launch Innovate Talk at an IIT with a company that is incubated here in India's IT leading startup hub. Now let's begin with our interview. What inspired you to start Selena's and how did you recognize the need for automating a sanitation industry? and solving the manual scavenging problems. A lot of people have witnessed this problem firsthand. So uh, you all must have, uh, you know, witnessed dirty water coming out of your taps or also you, you, you also use the same water for bathing, washing your uh, vessels, vegetables, uh, brushing your teeth. And there's also the problem of, uh, you know, multiple digs on the road and that causes a lot of traffic congestion. And this is the kind of problem that we are facing because of water. And that's where we wanted to come in. That is one major problem that we are solving. And the second major problem that we are solving is the uh, eradication of manual scavenging. So we must have also witnessed a lot of people who actually go inside the septic tanks to clean the hardened sludge. And that is not a way to live. It's not a way to that we should be earning money. So that is something that we wanted to eliminate completely. And that's where our journey started. So that's where we uh, positioned ourselves. We positioned ourselves as a water and sanitation, uh, you know, robotics company that would use, uh, that would leverage robotics for uh, uh, inspecting pipelines and cleaning the septic tanks. So that's where our journey began. And it's commendable that being a woman, you have done mechanical engineering and it's very rare. So um, how did this education impact in creating the Selena's products? When you go about learning an engineering degree, you start to think critically and you start to think logically. And this kind of thinking has helped us build a startup. So a lot of us in the, actually all of us in the startup are engineers. And that's where we are able to leverage our skills. We are able to think out of the box. We are able to think in a way that no other people can think. So that's how an engineering degree has helped us. And that's how mechanical, mechanical has helped me specifically. And also, can you share the significant challenges you encountered while creating the Endobot and Homosep and how you overcome, overcame those challenges? Yeah, so when we first, so in tech, when we first develop a product, we develop a prototype. So when we develop a prototype and we show it to customers because we have to actually do uh, you know trials before we deploy in actual fields. So when we are doing trials, we show it to our customers, our potential customers, and they give us a very you know joking smile and they say, "Ha, huh, this will be doing the job for us, is it?" So from there we started from you know that mocking smile, that taunting laugh. From there we started, and we have come a long way where. Now we are in present in more than 12 to 14 cities. So that is the kind of impact that we had. And we used all those, uh, you know, all those uh, challenges as feedbacks. And that's how we, you know, incorporated all those things in our product and made it more user friendly. So uh, we all know that you were featured on Shark Tank India. So how do you envision the future of entrepreneurship in India with shows like Shark Tank? So uh, Shark, before Shark Tank, I think a lot of people People did know about startups, but they did not know what startups were, what were the intricacies that were involved in startups. I think Shark Tank uh, was one of the shows that helped people understand the, uh, you know, the problems that go behind building a startup. So from, uh, you know, st getting an idea to building a prototype to getting feedback to, uh, to understanding how to deal with failures. All those things can be seen on Shark Tank and that's where people realize the importance of startups, the importance of con contributing to the society. 
and I think that's a great job that Shark Tank did. Um, how do you believe the educational institutions and schools can develop an ecosystem which encourages creativity, innovation, entrepreneurship amongst young learners? I think um, a lot. So, uh, traditional learning is you know fading away slowly. Uh, we are all moving towards the technological uh, you know dominant world. And I think we also need to uh, modify our education also as such. Uh, maybe if uh, you know, maybe if education can incorporate entrepreneurship programs or something related to tech in the curriculum, and identify students who can actually you know utilize these kind of programs and uh, untap you know tap all those kind of potential entrepreneurs. I think that would actually benefit the nation in the in the longer run. So uh, I I feel that uh, it's very important to you know learn by doing things, and that is something only entrepreneurship can teach. So that's where I think education needs to prioritize uh, entrepreneurship. So to the young innovators out there, what advice would you give to them um, to who are ad uh, interested in ad addressing social issues? Um, uh, if you have a good uh, you know understanding of the market you are addressing, if you have a good understanding of your competitors, the failures that they have met and if you are confident that you can bring about a revolution in the place that you are trying to make an impact, you should definitely go for it. Because at the end of the day, uh, you can get a peaceful and happy sleep because you know that you are doing something very beneficial for the society and that is something that you would be proud of if you actually went ahead with your idea. So that brings us to the end of our interview. Um, I'd like to end by saying to come join us in our mission to ideate, innovate and make the world a better place. See you at the next Gen Innovate Talks. Thank you. Thank you.